on this episode of Bass to Billfish. Oh, man! Peter Miller teams up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to give 17-year-old Leo, his best friend Nick, and his parents a Florida fishing adventure. Yeah, first mahi! Fishing out of Hawks Cay Resort, they head offshore in search of big game action. Holy Moses! And leave Peter to pick up the bill. That is a beast! Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Oh, yes! With incredible fishing around every corner. Yes, set it! This is truly an angler's paradise. <laughs> Join Peter Miller as he travels the state in search of big fish and shares his adventures with guests from around the globe. Oh my God. <laughs> from freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades. Oh, yeah. Join him for a fishing experience like no other. Yeah. <laughs> this is Florida's Bass to Bill Fish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Visit Florida. Hey guys, well we're in the beautiful Florida Keys. I'm going to meet my guest. For this episode, I have a guest named Leo, his best friend and dad and mom, they all came down. His wish was to fish with me from sunup to sundown in the Keys. I've worked with the Make-A-Wish Foundation about four times now. It's a really great opportunity to go out there and make their wish come true. Right now I'm meeting him at Worldwide Sportsman and I think it's gonna be one of those trips that's gonna be memorable for both of us. So I rolled up to Worldwide Sportsman in Isla Mirada. Are you guys excited for this or what? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? He's just really easy to talk to, really easy to get along with. I got good news for you. We're gonna go in here and I have, uh, I have gift, gift cards for you. They were excited. They were nervous, but really just happy to start this expedition. So I hear you guys are uh, maybe saving up a little money for a Yeti cooler. Yeah that's, okay. yeah, that's what you're waiting for, huh? Yeah. It turned out that Leo really wanted a Yeti cooler. I think the 65 is too big. Cause I'm just gonna use it for drinks. I'm not putting any fish in there. Really? Yeah. So you want to keep it clean? Yeah, yeah. The 45 is probably the one for yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, let's go. Let's All go right, check no. it. And I said, Dad, come on, boys, let's go. Let's go jump in the Lincoln and drive down to Hawks K. All right, guys, this is the ride. Suicide doors. You got the front seat, kid. Yeah, you got the you get the front seat. Leo, Leo Jr. Look at the car, it's one of the nicest cars I ever. We're knocking off Entourage on this one. Hey guys, I understand you guys have been here since early in the morning. So the first morning we met bright and early down at the dock about 7.30. You think we can uh, make some things happen on this boat? I think it would be all right. Yeah. yeah. That was just like, Oh, we get to go on that the whole day. The boat was so nice. I love yellow fins like that. We jumped on the boat, you know, with triple 275 Mercs and the Ray Marine, and we got everything ready, and we pulled out of the marina, out of the beautiful Hawks K here, and uh, we headed up to my buddy, Captain Brandon Muller's house. All right, Brandon, what can I do? We can untie the other line of that pen. We're gonna flip it around, and I'll lift it up. Brandon Muller was an awesome captain. He knew what he was doing, and I think Peter did a good job picking him out as the captain for the show. Wow, you got a lot of bait. <laughs> Holy cow, he's a hoarder. When we stopped at Brandon's, he was kind enough to give us some of his live bait that he had been accumulating. How many should I take? I don't know, whatever you think, man. So we had these giant pilchards, which were fantastic. How much gear are you bringing? I got it all staged up down there. Okay. He brought two sword rods, he bought two deep drop rods, and it was time to go very far offshore. So we're heading out and we stopped and right away we started throwing baits out and we started catching blackfin tuna and skipjack tuna, which was a great way to warm up. You got them on, got them on. All right, Leo. I get hooked up and it's so cool how they fight. Enjoy the fight. It's so different and it's like a jack on steroids. 
Here we go. Your first pelagic species, congratulations. <laughs> it was a really great way to start the day. And we're in business, guys. We're on the board. Look at that. When you're in the Florida Keys, fishing at a marathon, you're always gonna find life out there. Oh, around and look for birds, and we hooked up, and they grabbed it. We got one on it. You okay over there, Nick? Yeah. All right, keep them tight, sucker. They fight so hard, just so different, how they just go straight down. Good job, Nick, good job. It's a tuna. A blackfin. All right. All right, we got a blackfin tuna. Neither one of the boys had ever caught offshore fish before, so they were very, very excited. You got a nice, nice momentum there. I like the way you fight the fish, very buttery. Look at that, we got sushi. That hard fighting, I was excited about that one. They call these footballs. This is like a Florida Keys football special, right? That's right. But much tastier than a football. Just the feeling like you're like putting something in the cooler and you're gonna eat it later. It's a whole another fishing. And this is a perfect opportunity for me to give you the uh, the gift I was gonna give you earlier. This is for you. A brand new Kershaw. And Nick, I got one for you. Come Sweet. on up, Nick. There you go. Open it up. Check them out. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Guys, did you ever think we'd be doing this today? I didn't think I'd ever have a triple with Peter Miller. We got this bite right now. We're tight on the fish. Look at him, he's coming up. Oh my God. Look at that. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Plan your Florida vacation today. NTB, Tire Kingdom, Merchants. That's all you need. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ray Marine by Fleer. Go hunting underwater. You got him on, got him on. All right, Leo. Peter Miller and the Make-A-Wish Foundation have granted 17-year-old Leo his dream fishing adventure in the Florida Keys. All right, we got a blackfin tuna. After putting tuna in the cooler, Peter and his guests are ready for more offshore action. We got a triple zipple going, guys. Did you ever think we'd be doing this today? I didn't think I'd ever have a triple with Peter Miller. That was awesome. Every cast we'd catching black tuna, black tuna, black tuna, black tuna. Perfect size for the table, not too big, not too little. Nice job. I kind of stayed back in the limelight a little bit. I just wanted to stay back and just watch him do his thing. You ready? Yeah, yeah man, I'm ready. Man. Here comes the tuna right after real. He's so sweet, you know, he wants his son to get all of it and not interfere with anything. But I finally said, Leo, get in here. You need to wind on a fish. We've got Leo versus Leo. That's a beaut keep winding. You know, I can't believe how strong those fish are. The work that it takes to bring in a fish like that. Nice fish. Way to go, Dad. And it gave me a lot more respect for what you guys do out there. That's a nice one, man. It was a really nice experience for all of us. We got the dad catching them, all the boys are catching them. Great time had by all. But ultimately, I wanted to take them sword fishing. The key here is that we're gonna be dropping with this electric reel with a big weight. Well, when I just saw like all the electric reels and stuff, I thought that was so cool because I've never seen that before. The idea is to get down to the bottom, and if we get a bite and we miss it, we use the electric to bring it up. You're using 250 pound leader material. You're using lights, big hooks, and we're sewing on dolphin skin. Tell us why you like using like dolphin skin. What's the difference? You, you gotta have tough skin out here, Pete. Yeah, you do. Yeah, all right, Let's do it. We drop it down, we get it down to the bottom. We're all waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm sitting there like, okay, this is gonna happen. We got this bite right now. We're tight on the fish. It's coming up here pretty good. I'm thinking to myself, don't mess it up. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, now you got a fish on there. Going down, he's diving. Nice job, dude. And then chaos happened. Wind, wind, wind. Keep yep, winding, keep winding, keep, keep, keep winding. Don't, don't get loose on him. Did he come off? No, keep winding, keep winding, keep winding. Look for him. I'm like, oh no, my fear happened. Nothing you did wrong all right. at all, nothing. It's still early, we're gonna drop again and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get another one on, but that was a good fish. 
We regathered our composure and it was time for drop number two. We ran back two miles and we proceeded to drop back down to 1,700 feet. With the braided line on these reels, there's no stretch. 1,800 feet down there, you can still see the vibration carries all the way up the line. 10 minutes later, the rod's going like this. Oh, that might have been a bite right there. I'm like, I didn't see nothing. Oh yeah, nice fish. And all of a sudden he's like, we're tight. And I'm like, nice fish, huh? Yeah, real nice fish. And I know Leo was like, oh my God, we're doing it again. Am I clipping on or? Yeah, you were gonna clip in here. I thought I was going over. Wind. Do it, perfect, perfect. Here comes the light, is it gonna rail through it? Yep, just wind through it. The drag's tying down so far and you got the boat rocking and everything. And it was a strong fish. Look at him down here, bro. Oh, that's sick. Look at the size of that fish. That's sick. You're doing great, bro. Thank you. So, Leo, what do you think? You made a wish to go fishing on Bass and Billfish down in the Keys, and what are you doing? Catching a swordfish, yeah. fishing yeah, Bass right. Billfish. Dude, that's a big fish. Look at him down there. How big is that thing? 200? 200, solid, yeah. 200 all day. It's as good as it gets right here, boys. Keep going, dude. You're doing awesome. You gain a line on that? Yeah. Well, Please. now he's taking it. Nice so job, dude. He's huffing and puffing, and we're like 80 feet away from the fish. Keep pulling, keep pulling, stay tight. You're doing great. He's coming out, he, no, he's not coming out. He's slightly going under, Brandon. He's very close to the prop. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, so close. There he is. He's coming up here. We got color. Coming up, look at this bill, look at the bill. Oh my God. Look at that. Wind, 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 wind. Holy Moses. I wanted him to see a creature from the deep. That is a beast. And a swordfish is just that species. I guess we're keeping them. In the blink of an eye, Brandon gaffed his sword, and honestly, I was shocked. Hey, it's a sustainable fishery. There's nothing wrong with the eating some sword. We're having swordfish for dinner tonight. It's the first time we'll have swordfish in five years because we've released every one we've caught. And then I thought Leo's probably going to be pretty pumped to have this trophy fish that you take photos with. There he is! <laughs> it's not a little one. No. And you're looking at the fish, looking at Peter, looking at Brandon, and um, it's unreal. So, what do you think? You wish come true yet? Oh yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we could bring this back to uh, Hawks K and have him, have him fix it for the entire property. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Clear the bow. This is mayhem. Oh, there's another one coming for you, Pete. All right. I got the bit. Watch it. Coming around your bow there. Good uh -oh. fish, man. That's your first mahi, huh? Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Mercury, number one on the water. Yellowfin, your legacy. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Make-A-Wish recipient Leo and his friend Nick are fishing offshore with Peter Miller. There he is! It's not a little one! After landing a trophy swordfish. That is a beast! The group heads out for another day of fishing. So we're getting ready to go out day two. We're heading out of the marina and I got a chance to talk to Leo about you know how he got involved with Make-A-Wish. So Leo, what actually is your condition? And, and oh, tell me about it's it. hard cardiomyopathy. My heart had um. Uh, abnormal heartbeat. My mom has an advanced hereditary. Uh -huh. Freshman year, I was on varsity starting as a pitcher. And after that, that summer, we had an EKG done. And as it was printing out and I saw the rhythm, it was so similar to mine. And then they told me that, well, you can't play baseball no more. And that crushed. Yeah. Like, that was bad. He told me he got depressed. And you know, you got a 15-year-old kid, now he's 17, to say that, you know, be depressed. Yeah. When God closes one door, he opens another. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting for that door to come my way. Leo's other love has been fishing. So we kind of encouraged the transition into fishing. There's a lot of things out there. So yeah. you go through phases where mate, you wanted to be a firefighter and you wanted to do these things, you want to play baseball, but God, I mean, if you think of the spectrum of what's out there to do in life, it's, it's so endless, it's limitless. So the fact that I could take them out and um, I always get upset. And you're doing a great job, man. Thank glad, glad, glad to, glad to have you out here. You too, man. And you got your mom. Yeah, 
rolling along with us. They I mean, how cool is that? They all stuck, stuck with me through yeah. everything. They got my back. We're in 300 feet. Got a pack of birds here. Flyers are getting pushed up. It could be skipjacks, but it could be mahi, too. Within minutes, we stopped. We got a bite. We got one on. It was a very small one. Not even a keeper. A little miniature one. Yep, a little mini. Congratulations on your first mahi. <laughs> yeah, I thought, okay, great. We started small. Let's work our way up. We got three birds right here, and uh, we spotted a bigger dolphin. As we progressed and as we got into the different sets of birds, it was like bigger and bigger and better. There you go, you got the bigger one. And sure enough, we rolled up on a pallet. There's triple tail on it, all kinds of bar jacks, and inevitably, dolphin. Run up and wind, clear the bow. This is mayhem. Oh, there's another one coming for you, Pete. All right. I got the bit. Watch it coming around your bow there. Oh, this is unbelievable. We got big fish around the boat. We are benefiting from about 15 to 20 pound fish. Look at this guy coming in right here. I think it's awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe they're all hitting at the same time. Mom, you want to fight this thing? I've always had more fun watching my kids. And when we were hitting the dolphin, and the guys were like, Mom, grab the pole. Pull up and wind down. There you go. That's a nice fish. Nice, nice job. And it was neat to see her catching her first mahi with her son. It was a very special moment. It's a quadzilla. We didn't have enough people to haul poles because of all the fish in the water. There comes more. There's a whole pack coming in now. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, this is fun. They're right here. Look at this. This is so cool. And the guys were actually picking the ones that they wanted to catch. Got them right, right there. Look at that. I mean, that was just so cool to me. I mean, it's something that you only hear people talking about, and being able to catch how many we caught was just unreal. Got him, triple zip. We're zipped up, guys, we're zipped. Every cast, I'm waiting for that hit. And when you get it, it's just excitement. Look at these logs, nice ones. Good job, guys. Oh yeah, jumper. Oh man, dude, that's a nice fish you got on too, huh? This is awesome. Probably the biggest one that I've had on yet. We were getting doubles and triples. We were hooked up all over the place. Yeah, good fish, man. We got a 250 quart Yeti, and that thing was starting to fill up. Yeah, Mama Gucci. That is a cooler. Good job, man. Woo! Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Holy shark! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at the size of that thing. There he is. Oh man. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Salt Life, Live Salty, FWC, Florida is the fishing capital of the world, Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, serving Florida's hospitality industry, Costa, see what's out there. Oh, nice! Oh yeah, this is fun, guys. Peter Miller and his guests, Leo and Nick, have had an epic adventure fishing the Florida Keys. Look at this guy coming in right here. But with all the commotion in the ocean, Peter and the gang have attracted the men in the gray suits. Look at that. Oh, nice jump. We're having a dolphin melee, and they kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Ah, nice one. Oh, man. Hooking up with these dolphins and having all this activity in the water is inevitably going to bring sharks. Holy the shark's shark. coming. Oh, that's a nice one, too. We we're skirting our, our dolphin past the sharks. They were kind of cruising. There's two of them. And one came up and actually ate my dolphin, which I had on a topwater lure right from under the boat. All right, time to catch one. So I got a chunk of meat, put it on a big wire leader, threw it over. And oh, that's he awesome. just He just ate you. And I said, Leo, get your fighting belt on. It's go time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You better be ready for this. It's going to be serious. You're getting them now. I mean, just how heavy it was and how big everything on it was. It was just unbelievable. You basically have a 300-pound shark. It's a monster. You was telling me I fought for like 30 minutes, and it seemed like I was fighting for five. Perfect. Yeah, man. Get him, Leo. Wind down. He's coming at you. Give me two cranks. Yeah, you go. Perfect. There he is. Oh, man. That's a night shark? Yeah, it's a Cuban night shark. He fought the fish to completion. He got this fish up to the boat. And when it surfaced, it was like a whale. Look at that. Whoa. What? Woo! These guys have never seen anything like that. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Everything happens so fast. 
and just trying to be in the moment, trying to understand what, what's actually happening. That was an epic battle. So we got the shark up to the boat. We took some great pictures. We had the leader, we had the tail, we had the dorsal fin. Let him go. That was awesome. Good job, man. Hug it out. Bring it in. Thank Good you. job, man. Hawks K has great accommodations. We've done a bunch of shows here. They always roll out the red carpet for us, and they invited us to eat at Oceans, a, a fabulous restaurant on the premises. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Welcome back. Here's the crew. As always, they didn't disappoint. They gave us amazing food, great service, you know, in a beautiful setting, right on the water, and um, it couldn't have been any better. Nice, guys. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Looks very good. Thank you. It's such an honor to work with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and the fact that I can take him fishing, something I know how to do and make them smile. I mean, it's just a wonderful feeling for everybody. I caught a swordfish. That was the coolest thing ever. Every fish I caught was the different species. Check it off my bucket list. And we're just thankful and lucky enough that it happened to us. It was really a healing process, I think, for our family. Just some quality time with some great people. And uh, that's what we live our lives for, is to do the right thing. And I think all of us have. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to see more photos, videos, unseen footage, and to interact with us, please check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, you can check us out on my blog at Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you out on the water.